Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be checking out the top 5 best boat trailer guides that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the SeaSense Trailer Post Guides. The SeaSense Trailer Post Guide is highly visible and extremely useful. The guide poles are 40 inches long. You can also get different heights to suit your needs. SeaSense offers 48 inches all the way up to 60 inches. That's a pretty impressive size. It's good for most boaters' needs for sure. The LED lighted posts make it extremely easy to see what you're doing. The LED lights turn from red to green when your boat is ready to launch. As you'd expect, the lighting array is totally waterproof. You can get even the biggest boats lined up straight with these. The kit includes the mounting hardware to affix the guide poles. The U-bolts are 5 1 quarter. The steel supports are 1 to 1 2 inches wide. The pipes are 2 minus 1 half in diameter. The poles are steel and the caps are red PVC for visibility. Installation is fairly fast overall. If you follow the directions, it shouldn't take much time at all. That said, watch out for the nut locks. Some reports suggest they are not super sturdy. The company seems to be mixing their metals. The brackets are steel but the U-bolts are galvanized. The nuts can get stripped easily and lose their nylon collars. If that's the case, you'll need to buy some replacements. Go for some galvanized nuts to keep everything the same. In terms of use, these are highly visible. They do a great job of helping you guide your boat in and out of the water. You may want to tweak the caps, though. Because the poles are hollow, when you hit the water the air gets pressurized. That will blow the red caps off the top. Drill a small hole in each one to prevent that from happening. Moving on at number 4, we have the CE Smith Guide on Bunkboard. For price and function, CE Smith has what you need. This bunk board guide system is tough and easy to use. It features 2 inches by 4 inches by 24 inches boards. They're made of untreated yellow pine. They're upholstered with marine grade carpet to ensure smooth support for your boat. The poles hit a height of 21 inches. You can adjust them out to 13 inches on either side. They can fit smaller frames and also some larger sizes. The mounting brackets can handle a frame up to 3 inches by 4, 1 quarter of an inch. Also, they can be mounted on top of the frame. This gives you a few more inches of height depending on your trailer. Obviously these aren't for a giant boat. But a small to medium boat should do well with them. Combine them with PVC pole guides and you should have a really solid launch system in place. We recommend these for something like a 16-foot fishing boat. This guide should be perfect for a boat of that size. The metal parts are all well constructed. The wood may seem a little rickety depending on the side of your boat and how you load it in. Tight up the screws and you should be fine, though. In terms of height adjustment, you can always invest in larger U-bolts. It's possible to get this on a larger trailer if you need to. The installation process is an easy one here. CE Smith includes everything you need. It's pretty easy to follow along with the instructions. All things considered, these may be the best board-style boat trailer guides on the market. At number 3, we have the Extreme Max Single Post. For a solid and sturdy boat guide, Extreme Max has you covered. This single post comes with an 18 inches carpeted bunk board. All the mounting tools are included in the kit as well. You can adjust the size vertically from 19 inches up to 25 inches. They will fit bunk or roller style trailers up to 3 inches wide x4. 25 inches tall, you'll want to use these on a 14 foot to 16 foot trailer. The hardware included will allow it to attach to a 2 inch to a 3 inch frame. If you have a larger trailer, you can still upgrade. 5.25 and 6.25 kits are available. That said, even though there are a number of brackets, you may need to make an adjustment. As you may know, not all boat trailer frames are created equal. 
It's possible you may have to drill a new hole or two to get these attached. The boards themselves have the potential to spin on the vertical. A second hole drilled in that support may be needed as well. The kit is strong, Extreme Max makes a tough product. Even if you do need to drill a new hole, expect it to be sturdy. That said, we have heard that some people have had experience with them being a little loose. Depending on how committed you are, this may not be an issue. They can be welded in place if you like the overall performance. That ensures a serious hold for a long-lasting guide. Of course, that means you're 100% committed at that point. We're not suggesting you weld them, and you probably don't need to. But it is an option some owners have tried for added strength. The guides themselves are made from pressure-treated wood. Marine carpeting covers the wood to ensure a gentle and smooth guide. This allows your boat to ease on and off with no troubles. You should be able to adjust to a perfect height for most boats. At number 2, we have the Hekasa Boat Trailer Guide Poles. If you need something simple and to the point, here you go. Hekasa's guide poles are about as basic as basic gets. They're literally just aluminum poles. Not fancy, right? Sometimes that's all you need. Because they're made of aluminum, you can expect them to stand up to the elements. The poles measure at 1 minus 1 half square aluminum tubing. They feature 1 8 wall thickness and are 46 inches tall and 24.5 inches wide. You get two in a pack and that's it. That means there is no hardware included. For some, that's a deal breaker. But if you want to take this job into your open hands, it's ideal. This means you don't need to worry about whether or not the hardware of a kit fits your frame. You can make it fit on your own with the right bolts you pick yourself. Once you have them installed, you can slide PVC pipe over the top. There are tapes on the side to prevent the pipes from sliding down too far. That ensures a more gentle contact with your hull. This isn't really made clear anywhere in the product literature, but that's what you want to do. Like we said, this is just barely a step above a DIY project. Basically, you're paying for aluminum that has been cut and bent to the size and shape you need for a trailer. Be cautious of the size of your boat with these. Since they are aluminum, they do not have the strength of steel guides. Because they're so tall, you may be tempted to use them with a bigger boat. But the size could cause them to bend. And finally at number 1, we have the Kuafu Board Trailer Guide. Kuafu offers a high-quality product at a good price. They also have a 30-day, no-questions-asked guarantee. It's not a long time to make a decision, but the no-questions-asked part is a good feature. Install them, use them for a few days, and see what you think. If you don't like them, you lost nothing. That said, we think you probably will find them to be a top-quality set of guides. The clamps that secure the arm to your trailer are well-manufactured. Once you have it secured in place, expect a very solid guide. There is much less wiggle than some other models produce. The metal is zinc-plated for corrosion resistance. The company boasts that it can stand up to salt water, but we find zinc-plated metal less than ideal in the ocean. The carpeting is stapled onto the boards and we have to point out a weird flaw here. For some reason it's stapled on the flat side of the board against the boat. So the staples have a chance of scraping your hull here. It's a weird oversight and doesn't make a lot of sense. We'd suggest re-wrapping the boards and then stapling the carpeting yourself. Staple it on the back and you should have no issues. Installation is straightforward. There are no instructions included. So if you're not confident with this kind of work, that could be a stressor. Overall, it's easy to figure out, though. In a pinch, you could look up a video on the internet. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.